Good morning. Welcome to Monday. Phoenix, welcome to Monday. I don't want, I don't want Monday. Monday. All <laughs> I want is Saturday. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. Did you have a good birthday party, though? Yeah. Awesome. Because Saturday is perfect. Because Friday, I have to go to school in the morning, but I can stay up late. Sunday, I it's still the weekend, and I don't have to go to school, but I have to go to bed early. But Saturday, I don't have to go to school, and I can go to bed late. So it's a win-win. So <laughs> I wish every day was Saturday. Saturday is the best day. So anyway, uh, we're going to make it through the day. I've got several uh, appointments today, uh, jobs today that I have to get to, and it's going to be a normal Monday. It's not supposed to rain, although it is kind of like misting out right now drizzling I guess spitting from from the clouds all right we'll see you guys on the other side of the intro or at least I will Phoenix say goodbye Bye. all right so the first job of the day includes diagnosing this which is bad uh oh and that right there is going to influence the key in buzzer. Although there is no key in the ignition right now. And also, this problem. So he definitely needs uh, inner tie rods. That's bad. And we're gonna figure out what else he needs. He needs a bunch of things. It's an old truck. That vehicle's done. We're on to the next one. I had to stop at home real quick and get a uh, work order printed up for the last appointment of the day because uh, it's kind of close to the one appointment. So I didn't want to have to go all the way back home and all the way back out. So um, this uh, next one, uh, the customer is going to be present the whole time. Probably won't be able to film anything. But I am checking out a uh, some recommendations from another shop regarding rear brakes and front suspension components, almost like this last one. And also a condition that he says everything resets when he starts the car. So that tells me it's probably, oh, and he says it starts slow. So that tells me it's probably a bad battery um, because he's still driving it. So the alternator has to be charging the battery but the battery may not be holding a sufficient charge or he has high resistance in his uh, ground or power cables. That's a possibility too. But it would have to be the power cables coming directly from the battery, not the ones going to the starter because it affects the whole system. So, okay, going through in my head, every time I go to a customer's house or a customer's an appointment, a job, uh, for a diagnostic, I'm constantly going through my head, okay, this is what they said it was, what do I think it is? And I will go through like the procedure in my head of, okay, well this and the, the checklist basically, because when you're you know, performing a diagnostic, it's a complete process of elimination. It's a logical process of elimination. There. I might have even titled the vlog that. Who knows? Second car of the day so far, uh, we need a battery. This battery is only three years old, actually 11. Um, 11 of 20, so it's exactly three years old, and yet it's failed. Alternator's charging at 14.26 volts, which is good. Battery fails, 10 second load test, goes down to eight volts, so we need a battery. And then I have to take a look at the brakes and the front end too. Customer is complaining about a noise on the serpentine belt, but there's no noise present right now, but it's also warmed up too, so other than that, the belt looks okay. All right, we move on. All right, so my next job is a bolt extraction, and somebody replaced their, or attempted to replace their um, variable valve timing solenoid, and they broke off the bolt right here, so. I've been doing this with two hands. I didn't bring the correct tool to attach to this today. So I'm just very slowly, very methodically, so I don't screw this up. Because screwing this up could cost me a lot of time. But right now, right now it's coming out okay. But I'm gonna turn this off and concentrate so I don't screw things up. So here it is. I just need to uh, clean everything up, go out and get a new bolt, put that back together, and then put all this stuff here back together. That one's done and we're headed home. A Couple different things about the camera. For some reason, and I didn't notice it at first, but I had the camera on like, 
uh, high stability. And I noticed that, especially with the um, with the low light, that the video would be like kind of smooth, and all of a sudden it'd be like, eh, and smooth, and then eh, and it's like really annoying. My editor on my computer is a very, very, very slow. So when I edit, the video is not smooth, it's choppy, but I know that's just the editor and my slow computer. So that's why I didn't catch it. I didn't know it, and then I started watching. I'm like, wow, that's really annoying. So I took the sensitivity down one, and that seems to have fixed it because the parade footage was like pretty good as far as uh, being smooth, um, except when it was like up on, on the selfie stick. So that's good. Um, there was something else I was going to say too, and it had to do with the camera, it had to do with something, and I totally lost it. Oh, uh, this appointment is done, and I'm headed home, and I didn't film the end of it because I just want to get home, but uh, this was kind of, the, oh, that's what I was going to say. This is kind of the last appointment of the day. Um, I do have one other vehicle that's been a problem child, it's a BMW. You guys know how much I love European cars, uh, but the thing I wanted to say about the stability, because I, I saw the camera, and it's like, oh, oh, oh. It's not right on the tripod on the mount right here, so that's why you guys might be a little shaky, but I'm going to turn it off and you're not going to notice anything anyway because, you know, it's going to be off. Angie's in the middle of fixing dinner and I can't show anything else because I don't want to show anything else, which is going to be, where are you? Oh, there you are. Which is going to be very difficult for the rest of the week until our Frosty Fest. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, oh, this looks good. Stir fry? No. No? That's not a stir fry. That's not a stir fry? Well, you're stirring it and it's frying up on the griddle. Yep. It's stir fry. Yeah, it's a stir fry. Alright. Wow, this is going to be so difficult not to show anything. But it looks so nice. I can't wait to share it with y'all. I was expecting that look. <laughs> Look how young we were! <laughs> and that was only five years ago, four years ago. Wow. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I am tired. Why? I don't know. I didn't, you didn't get your nap tonight? I didn't do anything today. What is that? Ew, what is that? I don't know what what, what? Is. She just pulled something out from behind my ear. What is that? Oh no. Well, don't don't put it on me <laughs> again. I don't know what that is. It looks like a booger. <laughs> it's not a booger. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm totally dating myself because I uh, the whole turkey thing. I was looking up like WKRP in Cincinnati stuff because of the big turkey drop for Thanksgiving. And I watched an episode. It was one. It was the pilot episode, the first one, to where Johnny Fever is allowed to go on the air and say, "Booger." I almost forgot, fellow babies. Booger. <laughs> because he couldn't say he got fired from saying booger on his last radio. There, when whatever. Okay. I don't know what that. Ooh, it's crusty though. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Throw that. I yeeted it on the floor. Now you get to vacuum. I vacuum all the time anyway. You get, you're gonna vacuum as soon as you finish this. <laughs> I'm gonna shave the dog. Hairy monster. All right, so that's it. I think we're, I think I'm still filming. Okay, good, I am. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. After I edit. The East parking lot. Feliz on my dog. <laughs> I don't know, insert your own words here. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> Anything to add for the day? Yes, no, 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 no. all right. Nothing? Nothing at all? Um, no. You did awesome. I did stuff today. On You did stuff today. She did more decorating, and that's why we can't show it. And it's, it's like, for the it, party. It feels all Christmassy and woodsy, outdoorsy. I don't, I don't want to give it away. All right. Happy holidays. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.